Hello, gentle reader. <clears throat> this is I, Kali. And today we are going to look at, this is going to be a very brief thing, but I want to look at Taurus for a second because um, I don't think most people realize, but you've been lied to about Taurus, Tauri, your entire life. You're going to look at this and you're going to say, yeah, what do you mean? There's a Taurus right there. And I will say, well, that's a kind of Taurus. That is a particular Taurus, though. This is not the fundamental, the essential Taurus. What you're looking at here is not the essential Taurus. We will zoom over a little bit. You will see here's the equation stuff for it. Do 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 boo boo. Can we open it up? Uh, there we go. Now, if you will notice, there's that one plus, and then it's cos u, cos u, cos u, sine u, sine u. You know, typical thing for a sphere, only it's, uh, you know, it's sort of like a ball rolled around itself. But you will notice that one plus and one plus. That's up here on the uh, R thing. I'm going to slide this back. Let's get a good different value for that. There we go. See? Okay, so I'm going to put it back to 1. But notice that's a 1, that's an addition. That's not part of the fundamental uh, equation. We go like this again, go like this. Oh, get some off. But there we go. Sorry. It's beautiful snow out here. Okay, there we go. And now, watch what happens to this as I reduce, as we reduce R. Okay, and I will let you know when R is zero. R was zero there. See, the donut we know and love is actually a special case of the torus. It's expanded out so that we can see it all. Because the actual torus, the so-called degenerate torus, which is coming up. I'm going to stop it there because otherwise we can't even tell. And what it is that at the nodal points on the, uh, at the poles, I'm going to wrap a skin on it. Just a little bit of Okay, this is the actual true torus, which you cannot tell from a sphere, except that a sphere has even metric all around the sphere, really. I mean, however it's drawn, it really should have an even metric all around the sphere, right? It's just a surface. Whereas the torus, in fact, doesn't. The torus, because this is, is a perforation of sorts. There we go. Let's expand it out a bit. Boom. It has nodal points where the metric condenses. So you could say that the, you know, depending on how you want to view it, it's like, oh, well, you could say that there's the flow and then you could like go through the black hole antimatter universe, live a lifetime in the antimatter universe and you come out boo boo But um, I don't know. I wouldn't say that because they're separate and they're still separate membranes. Whereas surely surface, 
make it right here. Okay, this is going on divided by two. Just a second, and let's do this one divided by two. It's a half. What? Oh, damn. Okay, well, that's not it. I'm going to start playing. But the toroid. Know that the toroid you're being sold is not the actual fundamental toroid. The fundamental toroid is the so-called degenerate toroid. It's just one of those little things that, like, you know, it doesn't come across in the diagrams, but it might be important someday.